Welcome to another day with Jesus, a daily morning podcast bringing you the word of life as you wake up to the several possibilities of a new day. May this word stir up your faith and equip you to be victorious. Greetings in Jesus name. Welcome to this beautiful new day. This is a precious moment that we have with the Lord when he is about to encounter us one more time. when he is about to respond to our prayers when he is about to minister to us at our most vulnerable and hurting and broken faces of our lives he is a dependable god i'm sure that you can testify along with me that this god that we trust in he is a dependable god that every promise of his is a yes and an amen that there is nothing absolutely nothing that can separate us from the promises that God has made towards us that can destroy that love that God has for us there is absolutely nothing that can make God change his mind about us let me read a scripture where the psalmist he is praying to the Lord in fact this is a psalm that he is writing in his old age He says in Psalms 71 verse 3 Be to me a rock of habitation whereunto I may continually resort thou hast given commandment to save me for thou art my rock and my fortress Here is the psalmist he is singing a song he is voicing out his prayer unto the Lord when he says be to me a rock of habitation a place where i can hide a place that i can run to a place where i feel safe you become my habitation god you become that cave that i can run to the strong fortress that i can run to and i know that i will be covered there He is asking the Lord to embrace him completely. Now this guy who is writing this song, he is definitely not deserving of it. How do I know this? It's because he is living in the Old Testament days when the blood of Jesus was not yet revealed. It was not yet spilled. They did not have a revelation of the one who can take away the sins of the whole world. they were yet living under the law where the law could only cover their sins not take away their sins and in that season in that testament under the old covenant he prayed saying god won't you be my rock of habitation in the new testament the revelation that we have of jesus the person of jesus the word of jesus the promises of jesus the blood of jesus the name of jesus we have jesus who is our rock of habitation when jesus prayed for us in the book of john chapter 17 he said let my disciples let them be in me the way that they are going to be protected from the world around them is by them remaining in me and i will remain in my father and that is how the world will interact with them that is how the world will receive from them that is how the world is going to view them and that is jesus prayer for the church that is jesus prayer for you and for me and today if we can go to god and say god we really want to put our refuge and our trust in you be unto us jesus your presence let it be unto me a rock of habitation jesus let your blood be unto me a rock of habitation jesus let your name be unto me and to my children a rock of habitation a place of refuge that is our prayer that is our confession he says be unto me a rock of habitation where unto i may continually resort all the days of my life 
not just in one season when I need you the most, but in every season, in my highs and in my lows, I still want to come and hide myself in you. Because thou has given a commandment to save me. Friends, let me give you the good news. God has already ordered your salvation. He has already decreed your provision. The angels know it. Demons know it. Heaven and earth has witnessed it. The Lord has commanded that you be saved, that you be protected, that you be covered and that you will be provided for. So there is no changing that commandment. There is nothing that can go against that commandment. So you need to rest assured that you are safe. It says, For thou art my rock, and thou art my fortress. Be to me a rock of habitation, whereunto I may continually resort because thou hast given a commandment to save me. For thou art my rock and thou art my fortress. Father, this morning we pray that we will turn away from every other rock, every other fortress, everything else that we have put our refuge and our trust in, every other hiding place, every fig leaves that we try to cover ourselves with, every other fake identity, all those masks that we wear from Monday to Saturday to try and hide ourselves from the world, from our struggles, from our threats and our challenges and our enemies. Today, we want to hide only and only in you because you are my rock and you are my fortress. In fact, you are the rock of habitation. I can Build my habitat in your presence. I don't want to come and visit you and go, Lord. I want to live in you all the days of my life. You be my rock of habitation. We yield all of our dear listeners into your precious hands. And we pray that the commandment that you have given to save them, that commandment will be enforced today by angels let there be healing from sicknesses. Let there be divine deliverance from addictions. Let there be divine rescue from thoughts and patterns of thinking. Let there be a divine deliverance from everything that has held them generation to generation. We thank you for you have given a commandment to save us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We hope you have been blessed listening to the Rhema Word of God. Please contact us at pastorpreeti.com for any queries or help. May the presence of the Lord go before you this day.